Good afternoon, my Girl Scout deities. How's everyone doing today? I hope that you're all doing okay. My name's Amanda. If you haven't watched any of my videos yet, I'm a program specialist for Girl Scouts of Suffolk County. So Girl Scouts is continuing to make videos for you girls to watch and do activities with us so you can still earn your badges. How exciting is that? So today, you girls are gonna be investigators with me and help me solve a huge mystery. I know that I'm really excited for this. So what is an investigator? So an investigator is a big word for someone that looks at clues, asks questions, and helps solve mysteries, okay? And what are some types of investigators? Well, investigators could be detectives, superheroes, lawyers, inspectors, spies, and secret agents. And did you know that there's also something called a cyber security investigator? These are people who solve mysteries and solve crimes that happen on the computer and the internet. So today, we're going to practice using observations and clue finding in our own home just like a cybersecurity investigator would do on the computer. So I've been saying the word clue a lot. So what exactly is a clue? A clue is a piece of information that will help us get further answers to solving our mystery. And I also mentioned that we're going to be making observations. So what is making an observation? That means to use our five senses to notice things around us. So what are the five senses? Well, that's using your nose to smell, using your mouth to taste, using your hands to touch, using your ears to hear, and using your eyes to see. So we use those five senses in order to make observations and notice different things around us. So today we're gonna be using our sense of sight a lot. So we're gonna be using our eyes to look for clues. So this morning, I actually woke up and found the first clue on my nightstand right next to my bed. And it's a plastic egg with a letter inside. Let's read it together. All right, so here's our first clue. I'm gonna open the egg and let's read the letter together. Okay. Welcome to my extra exciting hunt. If you find all of the clues, you will get something sweet, but you must look in the right places. Perhaps it's a delicious treat. Clue number two is right in sight. It's by the things you use to clean your teeth and make them pearly white. So remember, as investigators, we must look in the right places for our clues. So what was a hint that the letter said about our next clue? So it mentions that it's by something that cleans our teeth. So do we clean our teeth with a shoe? No. Do we clean our teeth with a book? No. Huh. Do we clean our teeth with a toothbrush? Yes. Okay, so maybe our next clue is in the bathroom. All right, so we're entering my bathroom. Let's see, do we see any clues in here? Would it be in the shower? No, I don't think so. Maybe by the sink? Hmm, do you girls see any plastic eggs anywhere? <gasps> There we go, it's right by the toothbrushes, just like it said. All right, so we found clue number two together. Let's see what's inside. So it says, clue number two, you probably use a lot. It is where you make your food hot, okay? So what was a hint in this clue that they gave us? 
So it says that it's somewhere where there's food. So would this clue be in the laundry room? No. Would this clue be in the office? No, I don't think so. What about the kitchen? I think that's where it might be. Let's go check it out. So we're entering my kitchen. Here's my friend Opie right here. Say hi, Op. <laughs> All right, so it said in the clue that it's where there's food. So where can there be food in the kitchen? Hmm, let's check the refrigerator. Do we see any plastic eggs in here? I don't think so. What about the snack cabinet? Hmm, nope, it doesn't look like it. Was there a hint that I was missing in the clue? Oh, it said where you make your food hot. So we don't make our food hot in the refrigerator. We don't make our food hot in the snack cabinet. But what about the microwave? Yes, let's check there. All right, let's see. Our next clue is in here. We found it, guys. All right, so let's open clue number three. Okay, it says clue number four is where you'll find your bed. It is under where you rest your head. Okay. So what can we guess from this clue that we just got? Well, it mentioned something about our bed. So is our bed in the kitchen? No. Is our bed in the living room? No, I don't think so. What about the bedroom? Yeah, I think so. Let's go check. All right, so I'm headed up to my bedroom. Let's see if there's any clues in there. All right, so we're in my bedroom now. Whoa, there's a lot of different places that this clue could be. Hmm, do you think it could be in the closet? Let's check. Maybe it's in the shoes or something. No, I don't think so. What about my hamper? Hmm, I don't think it's there either. What was another part of the clue that gave us a hint? Oh, right, it said that the clue is under where you lay your head. So would you lay your head in a closet? No. Would you lay your head on a hamper? No. What about, oh, our pillow. Let's check there. All right, let's see. <gasps> our next clue, guys. Yay. Okay, so let's read clue number four. You already went to where you lay your head. Clue number five is where your dog lays his head. Okay. So what is the hint that this clue gave us? It's where my dog lays his head. So does my dog lay his head in the bathtub? No, not really. He takes a bath there. But where does he lay his head? Does he lay his head on the counter? No. Hmm. Oh, my dog has his own bed. So let's go see if that's where it is. All right, so let's head down to my dog's bed in the kitchen. Let's see. Here's the dog bed and there's our next clue. Opie, come here. Yay, he got the clue for us. Thank you. All right, so let's read clue number five. You girls are doing such a great job of being investigators with me.
Rub-a-dub-dub. Clue number six is where you can play with your rubber ducks and other bath toys. Okay, so what's a hint in this clue that it gave us? Well, it mentions somewhere that you could play with your toys. So maybe would this be in the toy room or where I have my board games? I think so, let's go check. Entering the room that has a lot of games and toys. Do we see any plastic eggs over here? I don't think so. Huh. Was there a really big hint in the clue that I missed? Huh, let's think. Oh, it said that it's where you play with rubber ducks and bath toys. So would that be in the sink, in the bathroom? Maybe, let's go check there. Okay, let's go see in the bathroom. Huh, there's no clue in here. Oh, the clue said bath toys. So what do you think? Do you think it might be in the bathtub? I think so, let's go check. Here's our next clue, we found it. So I had a hard time with that clue, but remember, we need to really look in the right places if we wanna find our clues, and we need to really think about what the clue is telling us, okay? So here's clue number six. Clue number seven is by the screen where you can play a computer game or watch a video about a bunny that is funny. Hmm. Okay, so what's a hint that was in this clue? Well, it said that it's where you can watch videos. So maybe it's in the living room by the TV. Let's go check. All right, I'm headed to the living room now. Okay, so here's the TV. Do we see any plastic eggs over here with a clue in it? No, I don't think so. So let's think, what else did that clue mention? It said that you could watch videos, but it also said that you can play computer games. Where do we play computer games? Oh, right, on the computer. So let's go check the office, all right? Right now, I'm on my way to the office. Let's go. Here's a computer. Here's our next clue. We found it. All right, so I'm going to read clue number seven. You have almost solved the mystery. This is a big deal. Now the last clue to your prize is in something that says vroom, vroom, and has four wheels. Okay. So what is a hint that this clue gave us? Oh, it said that it's in, uh, by something that has wheels. So maybe it's by my bicycle? All right, wait, let's really think. What else did this clue say before we go to the bicycle? Oh, it says it has four wheels. What's something that has four wheels and it says vroom, vroom? Oh, I think that might be my car. Let's go check my car. All right, now I'm outside heading to my car. All right, let's see if our Prize is in here. Oh my goodness. It's Peeps. And there's a letter on it. It says, you solved the mystery. Well done. Now enjoy your Peeps. I hope you had fun. Love, Ben the Bunny. Ben the Bunny left us a prize because guess what? 
We solved the mystery. Good job, girls. You girls have done such an amazing job at being investigators with me and helping me find clues in order to get this amazing prize at the end by Ben the Bunny. So now we're going to move on and do some more observations together. So we're gonna be making a couple of more observations. So what does it mean to make observations again? It means using our five senses in order to notice things around us. So once again, our five senses are using our eyes to see, using our ears to hear, using our nose to smell, using our mouths to taste, and using our fingertips to feel. So investigators use their sight a lot to be able to notice changes and spot problems in a crime or a mystery. So we're gonna be doing an activity together in order to spot some changes, okay? Okay, so can you girls help me spot um, some differences in these two pictures? We're gonna be investigators and really look closely. Hmm. Oh, I think in this picture, the boat is smaller than the one in this picture. So I'm gonna circle that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I noticed that on the girl's bathing suit, there's only one heart on her bathing suit here and then two hearts here. So I'm gonna circle that one too. And one more observation. What can we notice that's different? Oh, the beach ball. Do we see it's different with the beach ball? It's facing a different way. So this one's facing to the left and this one's facing the right. So there are about seven more differences in these two pictures. There's 10 differences actually. And I would like you girls to figure this out at home by yourself. So the worksheet that we just circled some differences on, um, I actually provided this worksheet to you girls so you can print this out at home and circle the rest of the differences on the worksheet. And then I provided you with two more worksheets just like this one where you're finding the difference between the two pictures. In order to get your cybersecurity investigator badge, I would like you to complete all three of the worksheets where you find, circle the differences between the two pictures. That way, you are practicing making observations just like an investigator. And you can ask your mom or your dad or your brother or sister for help with this. I know it is a little challenging, but I know that you can do it because you girls did such a great job at helping me solve my mystery. So I hope you girls had a lot of fun being investigators with me and helping me solve a mystery. And I hope that you get to solve a mystery right at your house. So keep a lookout on our Girl Scouts Facebook page for more programs. And if you did all the requirements for this badge, um, the link to that badge should be right with this video. All right, have a good one, girls.